10A Boxing Podcast, where the punches never stop and the excitement is always ringside. Get ready to step into the world of boxing like never before. Join us as we dive deep into the stories, strategies, and showdowns that make boxing the ultimate sport of champions. From knockout interviews with legendary fighters to ringside roundups from the biggest matchups, we've got you covered with expert analysis and insider insights. So lace up your gloves, grab a ringside seat, and get ready to experience the thrill of the fight. This is the 10 8 Podcast. Yo, yo, what's the deal? It's your boy Norris, and this is the 10-8 Podcast, and we are live. I, ch- I finally chased out my man. He was running from me for a long time out of out of Staten Island, New York. He says he's from Brownsville, and I, I don't believe it. Yo, you disrespectful. Hold, <laughs> hold on. Let me finish my intro. From, from Staten Island, New York. You know what I'm saying? My man, you know, he's he been putting in work for years, but I don't know, bro. He, he, he a funny acting dude. You know what what Hitman said? He he a funny acting chicken kung pao. It's like that, bro. That's how I be feeling about this dude. I can't catch up with him. He disappears. I, I don't know. I, I turn around. He's hanging out with David uh, David Benavidez. Turn around. He's over there rubbing elbows with with uh with uh Jake Paul. Even though he's gonna he he about to you know beat up our uncle Mike Tyson. Um, my man. David Flat, what's good, brother? No, it was good, bro. Yo, I ain't mean to interrupt your intro, but come on, bro. You disrespecting my whole gangster, bro. What you mean? Come on, I'm from Staten Island. Don't ever say that, man. My bad, my bad, my bad from Brownsville, Brooklyn. <laughs> yo, Brooklyn in the building, man. Hey, yo, hey, yo, no, I, I've been telling you this for a minute, man. Boxing needs you right now, and I know you're gonna you're gonna try to put some type of blame on me. Something and say I'll be. Nah, nah. I, I, I got to get my shit together. You know, I just had another baby, so right, right now mm-hmm. I'm just kind of like trying to just uh, focus. And then, but I'm about to start dropping a lot of shit, showing up to fights, getting a lot of material. Um, you know, I, I'm gonna be working. I'm gonna be dropping a lot of stuff, and I'm trying to keep it real because I watch a lot of the stuff that's out now, David, and I'm just like, eh, it's, it's all right. It's not that crazy, bro. It's just, it's just kind of eye to me. You know? Yeah, nah. I do, I do fuck with certain guys like my man Marco. That's my guy right there. Mm. You know, I, mean, I don't know if you know who Marco is Mar- Marco out of Brooklyn. He out of, out of not out of Brooklyn, out of Hell's Kitchen. He be doing the breakdowns and shit. Good dude. Yeah, that's my man. That's my that's my people. Yes. Yeah, um. Man. Now I always told you though the perspective you bring it from. Now I'm saying like there's nobody covering it from that perspective. Now I mean like Marco got his thing with the breakdowns. I know a few people that do you know do cover different various parts of boxing but from your angle you now i'm saying from the world you come from and yeah. the, the 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 target audience you got like people people don't cover it from that angle so you know just just let's let's get it no you know i mean no nah, i mean 100 i'm just trying you know, i'm just knocking the door right now just being humble but i plan on kicking that in and i definitely want to support a lot of the fighters that's coming up because i feel like a lot of fighters don't get the recognition that they deserve. And it's a lot of politics in boxing. There's a lot of guys that skip the line based on relationships. There's a lot of guys that are putting in that pain, working nine to five, still showing up to these fights and never getting the full recognition they deserve. And I kind of want to shed light on a lot of those things, not just the glitz and the glamour of what we see, um, you know, in the norm. You know I mean? You know, we see oh, every day we see Canelo, Benavidez, Javante, but there's a lot more than that. But I definitely want to get into all of that. But uh, let, let, let's start off with the um, well, the topic at hand. Well, we, we can talk about the other stuff later. But um, and I heard about this about a month ago, actually. And it was uh, Javante, not Javante, Ryan Garcia was being threatened to be evaluated by the New York State Athletic Commission, uh, basically on his on his mental. Um, do you have an update on that? I know you said it happened this week. Yeah, um, well, because of his, his antics, I believe his antics, you know what I mean, online antics, social media antics, you know what I'm saying? He been um he been he been like making people think that he's going crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like he he's 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 suffering from mental health issues. I think it was cat is more of a mental thing he's using to throw off Devin to make him think 
that he's not training and he's not focused. Not to say he's not going through, you know, mental health because everybody goes through that. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. But I believe it's a ploy to to throw Devin off. Now I'm saying to make to make Devin think that he's not training the way he is because I just recently seen a picture of Ryan from probably like yesterday. He's ripped up, bro. He's ripped. He was ripped. He's ripped it, up. It's kind of scary, ripped though. Like I'm kind of like. Yeah. Uh, what you mean, like, like, like? No, nah. Come on, no. Uh, no, I mean, no, no. Listen, listen. We've seen Ryan at 140 pounds. Right, we've seen him in his last fight. Nowhere near to what the size he is now. I'm just gonna put that out there. Now, again, I don't want to put anything over him, but it is kind of scary, Rip. But to answer your question about the uh, the ploys, I mean, at this level, I don't think it's mind games. And, and if anything, I think a lot of the stuff that he got going on is really mental. I don't think he's been. And, and, and okay, listen, ploys are ploys, right? A troll is a troll. But when you start um, announcing you're divorced to your wife, right? On social media, after she gave birth to your child, that's something you don't play with. That that's just something that, to me, it, it, it's 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 a little crazy, David. Like, you know, flat. Like, I don't think that's a game. You know what I mean? Um, a lot of his ever since he be, he got more of a spotlight in boxing because he's always been popular. You know, to you know, he's a model, all that stuff. But ever since the loss to 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 uh, Gervonta Davis and people saying he quit and all of those things, I feel like his behavior has been awkward. I don't believe it's a troll at this point. I think certain things are a troll, but those type of things like that, I don't believe those are trolls. I don't think you play with your family, in my opinion. Now, the face-off where they almost got in a fight, that was set up by Bill Haney. Bill Haney is a fucking genius. Right? You think that was set up? Yeah, that was set up. That was clearly set up. My man was actually there. He was... Uh, he was covering the Super Bowl that weekend. Mm. And uh, he walked in with them, and then it popped up. But that, I think, was a setup. I, I think Devin Haney is a professional. He understands how to sell the fight. I, I, you know, I wasn't a big Haney fan a couple years ago. But I love how him and Bill have orchestrated what they have today. And I think those things were set up. You know what I mean? But um, Ryan's mother jumping out, defending him. You know, I mean, I don't know if you have your mom in your life, but you know, as I do, Mm-hmm. And if a mother feels as if her child's being attacked, she's gonna jump over and protect her cub. I don't think those right. things were were set up, and um, I think that I think it's warranted for the for the for the commission to 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 make sure that this man is mentally okay. And I don't believe he is, to be honest. Nah, I think like I said, bro. I think it's cat. Know what I'm saying I think it's a mixture of both. Yeah. Where. It, it's it, it's it's a, it's a lot of uh, social media antics mixed with also him being a guy that's really raised by the end. Like I I just was having this conversation with my manager yesterday, right? So this is the thing that separates Ryan Garcia from all the other guys in his class, right? Why he's a bigger name than these guys? You know what I'm saying yeah. it don't have nothing to do with boxing skills. It don't have nothing to do with that. It's because he tapped in to the social media thing earlier than most other guys. Yeah. Now, I mean, I remember Ryan Garcia used to put out videos in his base. He used to, no, not in his basement. He used to train in his garage. He didn't used to go to the boxing gym. Early in his career, he used to put out videos training in his garage and with his mother. And, and that was kind of one of the things that made people really – catch on to him because he used to train with his mother with his family and stuff like that and that's what made people really pay attention to him so i say that to say he kind of separated himself from the other guys and made himself a bigger name as far as his social media uh uh his social media presence now i'm saying and that's it's like it's like you just said devin devin haney is promoting the fight in my opinion and that, and Devin Haney is a guy I was around since he was since he was younger. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He's he's not as heavy on a promotion tip as yeah. as Ryan Garcia. He more uses his pops Bill, you yeah. know what I mean, to, I to, to speak for him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I I nah, I rock with Bill. But I think I think that's what separates Ryan Garcia. He promotes himself. He's self promoted. Well, I, I mean listen. he don't even need an Oscar Delahoy. No, he don't. I mean, but he also he was under the tutelage of, of Canelo Alvarez as well for a while. Like he learned 
a lot of how to carry yourself independently, what what Canelo's been doing and and understanding that. He's also Mexican-American. We all know Mexicans follow Mexicans. They support. But, you know, in, in, in that regard, I think he's definitely separated himself because it's not his wins. He hasn't beat a champion. He doesn't hold a belt. And he's still getting mega bucks for these big fights, which I believe Ryan, uh, I believe that Bill Haney and Devin set it up perfectly, taking this fight and and kind of putting themselves in a larger light. But having said all of that, apparently it's hurt ticket sales. His actions have actually hurt ticket sales for this fight. It's not sold out. I know many of people that are trying to get rid of their tickets because they don't even know if this guy's going to show up. The fact that we got the New York City Commission evaluating him, right, they just turned the pay-per-view on live yesterday. You know that, right? Yeah. The sales, they, got, they turned it on yesterday. I heard. So well, I'm going to tell you why that's a double-edged sword, though, bro. Because okay. like I like I said, yeah, it, 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 it might decline the ticket sales. All right. Understood. But you also got to look at it from this angle. Maybe mentally Devin is coming <clears throat> in there underestimating him, thinking he's not putting in the work that he actually is because as you said i seen him he's ripped up he's in shape right yeah. now at, it was a point in time maybe a few weeks ago when everybody was like Derek james was was disappointed in him i guess they had a video of him in the gym and De- Derek james was looking at him like he was disappointed but all of that is a ploy bro he's ryan garcia is ready bro he's ready bro i, I don't think he got a chance of being Devin, because I just think Devin is more, a better boxer. But will he be at his best? I believe 100% uh, Ryan um, will be at his best. My, my thing is this. When it comes to Ryan being his best, I always felt like it was a, it was a, uh, it wasn't a positive when you switch trainers, right? When he left Reynoso, then he went to Goosen, then he went to Derrick James. And even when he fought, De- when he fought his first fight with Derrick James, doing the fake shoulder roll, those were acts of desperation at that point. He didn't train with Floyd to learn that. Derek James didn't train him to do that. <clears throat> it's really hard for me to take someone serious at this point when I feel like it's hard to tell somebody something when they have that type of money. Is Derek James in control of the camp? You have to question those things simply because of the, the things that he's, he's been doing, whether it's social media, whether it's inside of the fight. These are things that we all know sh- that, that – that, that Derrick James isn't teaching him. So that's why I bring up the question. Now, in terms of him trying to lure um, Devin Haney to sleep, Devin Haney's a, cons- a consummate professional. Guy is a, a purist. He understands where he got to and how he got there. There's not one inclination of me that believes that Devin will fall for any type of antics. In fact, I feel like he's going to dominate the fight. I feel like he's going to put... Um, uh, Ryan in a bad position, and I think he's just going to whoop his ass for twelve rounds. And I think I think Ryan is going to revert to some of those tactics of the shoulder roll, even though Devin doesn't pop as big of a punch as other guys that that Haney has fought. I mean that uh, Ryan has fought. He's going to walk in that ring about one sixty five, one seventy. He's going to be a big guy in that ring. There is no hydration clause. We already seen him at one sixty five. How big Devin is and how comfortable he looks. At once at one forty, so I, I just feel like you know I uh, I wish Ryan would have took this fight. I wish he would have took the Roly fight first. Got some got some you know confidence, and then fought uh, Devin. I believe that I, th- I think Floyd gave him the best advice at that time because he's not ready for Devin right now. I do not believe he stands a puncher's chance, but I think Devin is going to showcase. An amazing show that night. I think he's gonna beat him clearly. I, I agree with you, bro. But like you said, Ryan got a punch his chance. You know what I'm saying? And he believes in himself, bro. I don't I, I can never take take nothing away from a fighter yeah. that believes in himself against a guy that's a purist like Devin Haney. Cause like you said, I just having this conversation yesterday also, like Devin Haney is definitely a consummate a consummate professional, right? Yeah. So he's one of those guys because because I've been I've been around Floyd. I train with Floyd. Now I mean I train with Devin. Now I'm saying these these is the two guys I could say are the hardest working boxers that I have personally seen. And when yeah. I say that, I mean 
on vacation, Devin's training. When when yeah. when yeah, when when other guys see yeah. see the mistake that we make as fighters, we take time off. These guys yeah. don't take time off. Floyd in his day, he didn't take time off. He didn't you know what that's why yeah. that's why now he's enjoying his money. He's he's you know what I'm saying because he finally got a chance to really kick back. But, Floyd but, didn't used to kick back. But Flat, think about this for a second. Mm -hmm. He was in Canelo's camp. Canelo called him out for not being dedicated. And what right. did he do? He left camp. He went to Joey uh, Goosen, right? Uh, whatever, whatever his name goes. To Joe fight Goosen. his biggest fight ever. And he looked lost. He got called but, out and looked lost. But we all heard. I never I never trained with, with, with Ryan Garcia. I trained with a lot of fighters. Ryan Garcia is one I never trained with. But I've heard stories of him. He's He runs his camps. He says... When he's ready to stop, he stops. When he's ready to get out the ring, gets out the ring. When yeah. he's ready to go home, he goes home. This is the this is the 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 reputation that he has. You know what I'm saying? Like you said, with is Derrick James running the camp. I think Derrick James is just satisfied with Ryan Garcia, you know, doing what he gotta do as far as running his camp and doing doing it on his time, you know what I'm saying? The is that a is that a recipe for success? I I I don't think so. You know what I'm saying I don't think a fighter should ever run his camp. I think that's why no. we pay trainers. I'm, I'm, I'm with you a thousand percent. And listen, Derek James got fired right by uh, Errol Spence for whatever reason. Facts. Facts. Right? So where there's smoke, there's fire. Is he running this camp? How is he going to tell Ryan Garcia what to do? If you just told me right now that Ryan runs his own camps, clearly runs his own social media. Doesn't answer to anyone. This is a recipe for disaster, in my opinion. Disaster. And fighting somebody like a Devin Haney, who is so focused, understands your weaknesses, doesn't take punishment, very, very, uh, you know, has become very active at 140, very cautious. There's not, I mean... And I, I think Ryan has all, it, it, the physical tools. Ryan possesses them over Devin Haney, right? and he's a he's a bigger puncher. He's faster than Devin Haney. It's just everything that Devin Haney does technically is just more sound than Ryan Garcia. He's more focused. I know? agree. And and it, and it just sucks for you know to watch Ryan implode. In my opinion, I think that's what he's doing. And I think this loss, and, and let's just say it's a stoppage. Because it's, a, I don't think he knocks him out, but there's a possibility that it can be stopped because of a beating that he's going to take. I doubt he, that. He though. can do that. I doubt that, bro. <clears throat> I, doubt Dev I think Devin is just out boxing for twelve rounds, and I'm saying because yeah. he knows Devin still knows. You got to remember they fought six times. Six. They yeah. went three and three in the amateur. So yeah. Yeah. Devin knows that Ryan is dangerous, bro. Yeah, he does. He's not no. He's not no. Put. Don't let the pretty boy shit. These people can't let the pretty boy shit fool them like that or the losses, the loss to Tank. You yeah. know what I'm saying? He, even in the Tank fight, he was dangerous. I yeah. believe he, that Tank knew how that, that, that Ryan was dangerous, bro. You can't look. You, yeah, you can't sleep on a kid. Listen, Tank, uh, listen, the one thing that I feel like Devin and Tank had over Ryan was the mental aspect of it. I think they understand who they are as fighters. Stability, you know what I'm saying? Um, but Javante is, is, has the same people around him for years. He's stable. And if he doesn't want you around, he gets rid of you. If he feels like it's a it's a distraction and it's not about tank, he gets rid of you. You got to give that to him, right? There's nothing but distractions around Ryan Garcia constantly, constantly. The nigga's trying to put out a rap album. Don't nobody want to hear that bullshit. <laughs> but nah, you can't say that though, Nose, because he got millions of followers and fans that's going to support him. Bro. Off of boxing. No, He's but they're going to support He's whatever he a does. country album. Come on. Nah, you could do it. Trust me. Yo, I'm going to tell you why I don't knock that, Nose. When you got, when you got, when you got fans, you build a fan base. Like he, like he got, he got loyal, he got a loyal fan base, bro. When you build that fan base, you could do anything. You could branch out and do anything, basically. Now I'm saying, yeah, I, I get that, but there's a time and place for everything. Now Joseph Stone wrote a comment. He said, "What do you think changed with Ryan since the tank fight? He sold the tank fight as he wanted to prove he was the best. Now he's just wilding out, turn heel all of a sudden. He don't even look focused. 
I mean, I flat. You want to touch that one, and then I go. You you get on that one. Oh, uh, in my opinion, Joseph, I, I I said, I said with what with what uh with what um Ryan is doing. I believe this is my personal opinion. You know what I'm saying I believe it's a ploy. I believe he's doing all of that. This is just my opinion, bro. I, I believe he's doing that. You now I'm saying just as as antics, bro. He's not listen, Ryan. First of all, he focused. He focused, bro. Like, my man said he don't look focused. I believe he's focused, bro. I believe he's training harder than he ever did in his life. You okay. know what I'm saying? I believe he feels in his heart he can beat Devin Haney, bro. So he not going to play. You know what I'm saying? He feel like he could win. But the thing is, I know I know Devin Haney's skill set is just a little too much for, for Ryan. He still got punch his chance, but... I believe that his skill set is too much. As far as as far as what he changed since the tank fight, I I don't think he changed. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't think that Ryan changed. I think he's the same fighter. You know what I'm saying? But but Tank and Devin is two different fighters. Tank is a more dangerous fighter. Devin is a more skilled fighter. So I believe that he's gonna come in there. I believe he dropped the jewel, right? So, so they, so I watched the um, the face off between Haney and and Garcia, right? And and they were saying how in one of the earlier fights, uh, Ryan just came out guns blazing, and that's how he beat Devin Haney early in the amateurs. He came out guns blazing. Now I'm saying from from the beginning of the uh, of the fight, opening bell, and that's how he was able to beat him in the amateurs. I believe that's what he's gonna. That's the blueprint he's gonna try to use. Cause that's the only chance he got. He got to come out with that. He can't try to box with that. Let, let me let me touch on what Joseph Stone said, and 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 let me see if Flat agrees with me on this point. A fighter is a prideful person, right? A fighter is supposed to go out in their shield. Yes or no? I'm just asking. That's a fact. Okay. Ryan Garcia, since the Javante fight, since that fight, people have been calling him a quitter. A quitter, a quitter. You quit. We've seen you. Everybody's questioning his heart since that thing. That's what changed. That's what changed. The pressure of being a, a legit fighter, being a pretty boy like he is. People question the, his desire. Does he really want this? Does he want to be in these ads in these magazines? Is that more important? That's what changed. Being called a coward. Every time he's called a coward on 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 um, Devin Haney calls him a coward, he flips out. He wakes out. He can't handle it. And I think I think that's what changed from when he fought him to now. And it's always an excuse now. Oh, you know, I got drained, this and that. I get it. I get it. And I think the pressures of people, society, boxing, and, and listen, Ryan has always had to face being respected in boxing because he's a good-looking kid. They think he's a pretty boy. He's always been questioned. But now to be called a quitter and have evidence of you actually quitting in a fight, I think that mentally – has really hurt him. And and that's just my opinion. Yo, no, I dropped the jewel. Don't don't overlook it, bro. What was I that? said they two different opponents. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> Tink and Devin is two different opponents. I said, mm -hmm. listen, y'all gonna hear this bold prediction right here. Mm -hmm. When that bell ring, Ryan Garcia is going to come out and jump on Devin Haney, bro. Trust me, I'm gonna leave it at that. Y'all gonna y'all gonna see when that bell ring, he's gonna come out and go for broke because he knows that's his only shot. He can't yeah. out he can't box with Devin. No, no, uh, listen, I, I'm I'm with you on that, and I think he has to have a fighter's chance in order to win. I, I think he has to make this a messy fight. I think he has to put the pressure on him. I think he I think he believes, and he's already tasted. Haney's power, right? They've fought uh, six times. He doesn't believe Haney can, Haney can hurt him. Even in the right. pressers, what does he say? You never knock anybody out. You don't hurt anybody. You don't. I believe in his heart, he does believe that 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 uh Haney cannot hurt him. So he's gonna come in with a different attitude than when he fought Javante because one, he didn't face Javante's power before. He never felt what it was. So it was something that he wasn't familiar with. But the fact that he's familiar with Devin Haney. I don't I, I'm with you. I don't believe he's gonna sit back and be patient. I think he will attack him. Now, is that the best course of action? 
But I don't know. We're going to find out. Can he outbox him? I don't know. I don't think he can. But I think you're right. I, I, I think you're 100% right that he is going to have to jump on that man and stay on him and be aggressive. Almost similar to what we witnessed when we saw um, Maidana versus Floyd. Get on him. Don't let him breathe. That's- don't make him comfortable. You know, but is he going to be, is he going to be able to do that for 12 rounds is, is going to be the question because Haney will adjust. Haney will keep trying to keep the fight in the middle of the ring. Haney's going to do all those things and fight behind that jab. So, I mean, I'm with you. I, I think that is his best course of action, to be honest with you. Um, I just feel like Haney is stronger at 140. You know, he's he's not, he's, he's not having to, to, you know, he's able to hydrate 20, 25 pounds. He's a lot, bro. He he looked as big as Canelo. If you watch his last fight, I was like, "Holy shit, he's huge." He made Pro Grades look like the smaller guy by a lot. Nah, Haney, Haney, Haney is Haney is a he, he's a strong dohu man. He's a he's 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 a know what I mean. He's a strong dude. Know what I mean, so no, one hundred percent. I think I think he feels comfortable. I don't think he's gonna change his uh, you know uh, where where his weight is gonna be at. I think he's gonna stay. If anything continue to go up, I, I think he's confident right now, and and, and you, you, you can't take that away from him. But you, you know, let me ask a question. You brought up the commission stuff. What actually ended up happening with the uh, with the New York Bo- City Boxing Commission? So, for the people that don't know, the New York New York State Boxing Commission is one of the most strict commissions in the world right so all my pro fights was in was in new york city so i know this firsthand these 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 motherfuckers i don't know i could curse on him no yeah he can do whatever he wants cool all right so these motherfuckers is worse than a, a po bro you know what i'm saying they they watch you pee you now i'm saying like you can't do nothing they not they not chancing nothing now I mean from whether it's hand wraps, whether it's they think you taking any any uh any fucking any uh enhancement enhancement drugs. Now I'm saying whether it's mental a mental thing because they don't want nobody to get hurt because you know New York I believe have the highest um insurance as far as boxing as far as boxing goes. Mm-hmm. Now I mean. So yeah. in order in order for a promoter to book a show, I believe they gotta have like a million dollar insurance policy or some shit like that. Jesus. I'm saying, yeah. So see, these are things you gotta understand when it comes to that situation with Ryan Garcia with the mental health thing, because they don't want him getting hurt, bro. They do not want him getting hurt in New York, bro. You know what I'm saying? Cause that could possibly that could possibly fuck up the whole boxing scene in New York, in New York City. You know what I mean? So that's why they on it heavy like that but he he been bugging bro and 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 it is it is scary because looking at it from that perspective of of a commission i'll be like nah listen i i i trust that he's training i trust that he's doing what he got to do in preparation but i gotta make sure that he's mentally stable because if he get hurt at this barclays center bro this is gonna make boxing look bad in new york you know what I'm saying? So the commission just 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 looking out for themselves. Ryan is taking it personal. You know what I'm saying? Because he like, yo, they never did this to nobody else. You know what I'm saying? Like, but but he gotta take accountability for his actions. All this talking to aliens yeah. and shit. You know what I mean? <laughs> he said he got yeah, he, he, he been bugging, no. Yeah, I mean he's been bugging out. I mean, he's on he's on that uh that Arizona. I don't know what he's on, bro. Right now. He's, <laughs> he's on shrooms. I don't know. Listen. And and again, that concerns me, man. Because if listen, if I'm running a camp, right, I want guys to be focused. Like I remember the days of guys going up to Big Bear Mountain, no, no Back. phones, no nothing, just Back. focused. Listen, Bud Crawford said he doesn't even have sex, or when he does, it's you know he doesn't move; he just sits there. Like Back. I just feel like I feel like this guy's over there smoking, banging chicks, and bugging out. Like I, I don't know; it just gives me. He gives me that vibe. And plus, this is not a little bit of money we're dealing with. Like, Ryan Garcia gets paid a lot of money. He made, was it, 41 or $31 million last year? That's insane. Forgot it didn't even hold the fucking title. Yo, yo, no, yo, no, not to cut you off, bro. I got to ask you this, bro, because I just seen an interview with Bill Haney. He was talking talking about um, Bernard Hopkins, right? Yeah. He was saying, he said, he made a statement. He said, 
Devin in this fight is going to make more money than Bernard Hopkins made his entire career. Yeah. So how much is Devin making for this fight? I'm gonna I'm gonna say this, um, man. That's, that's I mean he's he's. I don't think it's more than twelve million, but I think it's around ten to twelve. I'm, I'm just honest with you. Yeah, I don't I don't think it's more than that. I don't think it's more than twelve million. I mean, I could be wrong. I think Ryan is getting the the bulk of it because Ryan is who he is, and Ryan's the one that sold the biggest pay per view with Javante Davis, and you, you got to give him his credit. So I'm going to say 12, maybe to 15. I, I don't think it's more than that. You know, but you know they're going to they gonna kill him on the back end. They're going to kill him. Because that's what that's what um Tank oh, and, and Garcia did. Yeah, they smoked him on the back end. You know what I'm saying? With them pay-per-views, that's where they really ate at. Now, I don't think... I mean... Um, I don't the, think Devin is a is a bigger is a pay per view star as far as no, like he he yeah suck. as far as like Tank and, and Ryan Garcia nah but I think they gonna do numbers. But you know what's crazy? The tickets are expensive as shit at the Barclays Center. That's a fact. Those are. I mean, you could you could tell how big or how big of a purse it is when you start seeing the tickets online, and you're like, yo, whoa, how much? Like they, they they're, they're charging a lot. I mean, I think. That's one of the reasons as well that that uh that what's his face that uh that uh Ryan wanted it in Vegas, you know what I'm saying? Because you know, we go to Vegas, people like to spend a lot more money as opposed to going to Brooklyn, I guess. Mm. But you know, this is an expensive fight. I, I don't I don't think this is one of those that you just you know who who is it who is it under actually? It's uh it's a golden boy who else? It's it's not it's Golden good. Boy and and Devin DHP, Devin Haney promotion. And yeah, Devin Haney is is independent. But who who's uh who's 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 got the fight? I believe I believe is I believe is um like you mean network wise? Yeah, is it the zone? Uh, is it the zone? I think it is the zone. Like, I think Ryan is still a the zone fighter. It might be. But I mean, at the end of the day, it's 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 a big fight. Ryan Garcia coming off of you know the the, the sale that he made versus Javante. He's gonna. He's Ryan's probably getting like twenty million. He's probably getting like twenty. Yeah, you know what yeah. I mean, something like that. I would say about twenty. You know what I mean? Uh, he's popular, but and I think that's why people are scared at this point. You know, to invest in him because of the fact that you know, yeah, you, know, you think I want to invest fifty million dollars and this asshole is not going to show up? You know. Right. You know, it's one of those things, man. I, you know, I, I would be nervous to do. Or is it just a payday? Now I'm saying, like, is is he just coming in there to get paid and not put a hundred percent? I'll be questioning shit like that, bro. See, I, I believe a hundred percent from fighters is different. It varies according to the fighter, right? So, to me, I think a hundred percent of a Floyd Mayweather is different than hundred percent of Ryan Garcia. And, and 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 what I mean by that is. Ryan Garcia may be giving you his 100%. He may be giving you his 100%. But that 100% is not equal to what another man's 100% is, what he believes. You know what I'm saying? Floyd, he zones out. He's everywhere. I mean, you know I mean? He's focused. This guy's 100% still might be him not being as focused as he should be. And, um, you know, if I was Derek James, I would have took him out of Houston. I would have took him somewhere That's where... Facts. There's, there's no nothing, no facts. no phones, no anything. That's a fact, and, and and that's just being honest. Like especially a kid that's so easily disrupted, he's disrupted like it's nothing. He yeah. answers every tweet. He was on Twitter yesterday bugging out. Like I'm like, yo, what's up with this dude? But that that go back to what we said though. Derrick James ain't running the camp. No, no. Not Ryan man. Garcia, listen. Ryan Garcia's biggest mistake was leaving the Canelo camp. I thought that was one of them. I, I, you know, mm. whether you like Canelo or not, Canelo is very smart. He's focused. He understands. I mean, Reynoso, I think, does a great job picking his fights, right? And, you know, the guys the guys are in shape. Whenever you fight somebody out of a Canelo camp, you're, you're going to get somebody that's focused, win, lose, or draw. That's a fact. And, and I think um, I think that pressure made him say, nah, bro, I'm not doing this shit. You guys ain't going to tell me what to do. You know what I'm saying? And that's when Canelo came out and was like, yo, you're not going to beat Gervonta at the way the way you are now. 
and, and and listen, when I start seeing people go from trainer to different trainer to different trainer, it's 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 a it's a red flag for me. It's a it's a red flag. I don't like to see it. It just shows, um, in my opinion, it shows not this loyalty. What, what's the word I'm looking for? It shows it's like a it's like a it's like a bad divorce, bro. <laughs> like, you know, it, it shows there's something wrong in the camp and somebody's searching for something to fix it. And you know, not to say Derek James is a bad um trainer because clearly he had Errol Spence, but even that situation, them not messing with each other. I don't think that's gonna benefit Errol Spence going to 154. That's just me. You know, I think you gotta go what got you there. And um I don't know, man. I, I there's not a lot of good signs for me when I look at Ryan Garcia. That's why I think I love Javante has the same people around him since the main people, you know what I'm saying? And you know what? They care about what he does. They pick his fights accordingly. You know, they keep they try to keep him out of trouble. You know? But you, you gotta remember though, they came up, he came up with them. That's who he came in the game with. And that's what I feel a lot of fighters gotta start doing. You gotta stay loyal to who you came in the game with because out of nine out of ten, those that's who's gonna have the best interest for you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's really gonna care. A lot of fighters get mad when a trainer stop a fight, but sometimes it's to save your life. Yeah, no, listen, Canelo's been with Reynoso since he was like what 15? Exactly. Exactly. I mean, listen, whether you love Canelo or you don't, the one thing that you're always gonna get is a focused Canelo. I, I, you know what I'm saying? You're gonna get somebody that's gonna go out there and be in shape. You know, sometimes you know, whatever. He's gonna he's a he's a consummate professional. Um right. so to me, like stability in a boxing camp is major because boxing is literally you putting your life on the line. And that that's where I think, you know, you gotta have some like I don't think Derek James could turn around and tell Ryan Garcia he's bugging. But I believe Reynoso could tell Canelo he's bugging. That's a fact. And I think that's something that's major. If you can't tell your fighter, bro, you're bugging the fuck out. You shouldn't be in that camp. And that's just being honest. And, and again, when I watch the, the presser, he's kind of whispering in his ear. Like, he looks uncomfortable to me. He doesn't even look comfortable to tell Ryan to shut the fuck up. You just threatened a fan in the audience to whip his ass. You're worth millions. Right. What is wrong with you? And the fact that he's, you know what I'm saying? You don't, you don't see Canelo do things like that. You don't see Benavidez do things. And Benavidez is hilarious. He, he says what he wants. But he has his dad. He has his brother, his older brother. He has his people around him that kind of keep him in check. You know what I'm saying? Like, nah, bro. We're not going to go back to those days where you was bugging the fuck out. You know what I mean? And you need that. And I think, I think Ryan, you know, it's scary, but it, it's the facts. But, you know, let's move forward with the Ryan Garcia talk. We were talking about... Uh, the, so there's a lot of streaming platforms coming up right now, right? Uh, we just watched Amazon, right, with the Tim Zhu fight and Roley Romero. Right. I, think they, I think they got off to the right foot. I think that was exactly how you wanted to, to introduce yourself to boxing. I thought that night was insane, uh, last Saturday. And now we got Netflix getting into the picture, and now they're doing the Mike Tyson versus Jake Paul. Now, I have nothing against Jake Paul. I love Jake Paul. I think Jake Paul has added a lot to this culture of boxing, right? I am not a big fan of them starting off what we all love as boxing, the sweet science, with Mike Tyson versus Jake Paul. I don't think that this is the introduction that Netflix should be having to introduce boxing to their platform. I, 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 I beg to differ, bro. I, I believe know. it's the perfect situation for Netflix to step in because this is the highest level of boxing as far as names go, as far as celebrities go. You know what I'm saying now, as far as talent and all that, now nah, because Mike, of course, he's a shell of himself. He's 60 years old, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Jake Paul is a YouTuber turned boxer. So, the talent level is not going to be there as far as hungry fighters and shit like that. But I believe, I believe, and, and, and it's a conversation that I often have, 
certain when certain people come into boxing, certain companies come into boxing, they turn it into what it's supposed to be, which is a show, entertainment. They turn it into a, a extravaganza. And that's what I believe that car is gonna be. It's not it's it's not even so much about the fight. It's about they're gonna have performances, they're gonna have the right people there to make it look how it's supposed to look. Now I'm saying like yeah. it's 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 a it's an extravaganza, bro. Now I'm saying so I believe Netflix is gonna do it the way that. it's supposed to be done. I get that, but to introduce the first event with Mike Tyson, 58 years old, versus Ryan Garcia, two minute rules. No judging. It's not even a real fight. It's not even a sanctioned fight. Why would you want to introduce, and this is my opinion, boxing in that manner? Now, if they would have done this the second or third, I get that. But you could have went and got or, or, or attempted because you do have money, right? You could have attempted and go and, and, and got, I don't know, uh, Benavidez versus Canelo. I mean, Canelo said he wants $150 million. You, you guys can definitely reach that. You guys just paid um, Dave Chappelle was something like some ridiculous amount of money. You guys have paid a bunch of people. So to me, to introduce your platform, boxing to your platform like that, I, I, I don't know, man. Like 58 years old, I'm not a fan of it, to be honest with you. Uh, I love Mike, but man, I, I don't know, man. I, I don't think that would not be. I, I like the way Amazon introduced it because I think Amazon. Is is trying to put it in a way where we're gonna get the real fans out there. You know what I mean? Yo, I, I um, like I said, I believe I believe this the right situation where Netflix is supposed to come in and 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 show y'all how boxing is supposed to be done because the average promoters now they not. They not carrying it how they supposed to carry it. Now I'm saying like they not like like you got you got Golden Boy Oscar De La Hoya, you got Top Rank with with Bob Arum, you got you got Eddie Hearn. To me, these guys are not putting on a show no more. They more so relying on just a fight, which of course is 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 what boxing is about. But at the end of the day. It's, it's entertainment. It's we in a different world now. No, we, in the, we in the internet era, bro. Yeah. You got to entertain these people. The, the attention span is so nasty now. People not sitting and watching. Like imagine, all right, think about this, Norbs. The the the, the co-main event and the main event last week was fire, bro. Fire. It was fire. But imagine if they had to sit through three other fights to get there, and the fights is just not bomb burners like that they yeah. nobody would have sat there to to yeah. to get to the co-main event and main event that's true you know i'm saying so i feel you have to make a boxing card uh extravaganza just to keep people no, watching i'm with you but i think that with the current stock of guys that we have in boxing there's a lot of guys that don't get opportunity you can add all that stuff there's different things like for instance the nfl i'm a huge nfl fan right Every year, they change rules to bring more offense into in the NFL, to make more people tune in, right? That's what you do. You alter it. You can add things to the show. But uh, to start off with Mike Tyson, Jake Paul, two-minute rounds, to me, if you're trying to get that hardcore boxing fan to tune in and say, hey, I want to I wanna pay for this, it, it's hard for me. It, it's, it's hard for me. And, and, and listen, we love Mike Tyson. We all love Mike Tyson. So... You know, he has to take these weird tests because he's, he's that's how old he is. He has to take an EPG and an E and whatever. Like, he's 58 years old. It, it's, 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 to me, it's not the best foot forward. I'd rather them have went and gotten Baval and, and, and Better Be or, or, or even. Ah, no, no, them, them shit ain't go do them type of numbers like a Jake Paul. A hundred percent. But on, who, who, who are you actually attracting at that point? Who are you attracting? That is Netflix. They don't care about the, the boxing. They don't care about the, 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 the hardcore yeah. boxing fans. They're investing millions, billions I, into, into live but, streaming. But but that's because it's bigger than boxing, bro. Yeah, it's, it's now. It's now. This this what they about to do with Jake Paul and Mike Tyson is bigger than boxing. It's not even boxing, bro. Let's not even look at it as boxing, bro. Okay. It's a movie. 
know what I'm saying? Like, it's it's a Rocky movie. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not no it's not no boxing fight. You know what I mean? Because we don't even know what's going to happen, bro. We don't know if Mike Tyson even going to be able to throw a punch. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. but we we curious to see. You know what I'm saying? So it's, yeah. it's, it's just, it's a movie, bro. This is a whole movie. We want to see how it's going to end. You know what I'm saying? Like, and, and, and they got to keep us entertained. Now I'm saying until we could get to that point. So net, I think Netflix, I think this is the right situation for Netflix. Because they wouldn't have invested, they wouldn't have been invested if it was somebody else. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, listen, Jake Paul is a huge name. We all know that. I, I, I yeah. love Jake. I love Jake to death. Don't get it twisted. I just didn't think this would be the best move, in my opinion. Like it's kind of, you know, I mean, I get it, it's Mike Tyson. But I, I don't believe you're going to get a lot of the purists. You're just going to get a lot of the people tuned in. I get it. This is just reviews. I get it. They're paying, I think, Jake $30 million, Mike Tyson $20. It's $50 million invested just in those two individuals. So I, I get that. Now, what are you going to do with the rest of the card? Is this going to be uh, – are there going to be some really good boxes on there? Are we going to get Amanda Serrano on there? Uh, what are we going to get? Are we going to get bigger fights? I mean, uh, to me, I like the the – using Jake's name to shed light on boxing, but at least keep it to where it actually is still boxing. You know what I mean? I don't want a free show. I don't want to see Nate Robinson laid out. I don't want to see, uh, <laughs> you know, I don't want to see that. You know what I mean? Use Jake for what Jake, like for instance, what Jake is doing for Puerto Rico is brilliant. You know what I mean? What he did for Amanda Serrano and, 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 and Jay Leon Love, making him one of the bigger trainers now, shedding light on these individuals. That stuff is great. You know what I mean? But do it with the intention to grow the sport, not the sideshow. And I think that's where I'm kind of at it with it at this point. You know what I mean? That, that, that's just how I feel. You know, so I, I, feel, I, I just want it to be so. And, and again, I love Mike Tyson, man. I, I grew up on watching Mike. I, I, I was devastated when he lost to Buster Douglas. I mean, devastated. You know what I mean? So to see him at 58 fighting Jake, and I love Jake. El Gallo de Dorado, I love Jake. What he does for my people in Puerto Rico, I love it. I just don't love this fight. And I think that Netflix, and I'm going to be tuned in. You know what I mean? I'm going to be tuned in. And you're right. It's going to get Exactly. <laughs> you said all that to say you're going to be tuned in, bro. Of course. I love, listen, Mike, I, love, I don't think I've ever missed a Mike Tyson fight. First of all. Like, literally. I think the one, you know, it's funny, the one fight I did miss because I was a kid when he fought Boston Douglas. And it was, I was like, I think it was in Japan or something like that, right? Yeah, it, it was, was in late. Japan, yep. It was Japan, it was late. I missed that fight because it was so late. I was a kid. And he lost. So, I don't know, man. I, I just, I love what Amazon did with the Tim Zoo and even getting a great replacement. I thought the replacement was better than him fighting Thurman. You know what I mean? That's a fact. Like, to be honest, I thought it was great. But, um... I mean, I think boxing. I think I think a lot of people were like, "Yo, you know, boxing is gonna is gonna lose because you know they lost Showtime." But I, I listen. I've been in meetings with 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 Amazon before. I know what they're looking for, and I think that's why I wasn't mad when Canelo came out and said he wanted 150 million because he knows how deep these pockets are. You know what I'm saying? He knows that fight is gonna generate, oh my God, millions upon millions. So. You know, I, I like the streaming platforms being in there. I just don't want it to be a sideshow. I do still love the sweet science. You know what I mean? So, you know, I, I don't know. Maybe I'm how tripping. they how, how they can even that out, bro. It's like you mentioned, they gotta have a fire undercard. They gotta have a fire undercard, bro. They gotta have real boxing matches on yeah. the undercard, bro. You know what I'm saying that's the only way to even it out. Yeah. No, I know I'm with you, and that's my thing. Like I said, I just want it to be based on, you know, the sport, man. I want it to push the sport forward because it is a great sport, and there is a lot of great talent coming up, man. You know, and 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 again, I think. Listen, look at 154 pounds right now, yo, dog. 154 pounds is insane. Look who's there: Bud, Errol, Tim Zoo, Charlo. Like, there's so many great fights to be made. Right now, just in that one division, at 135 to 140, at 168, there's a lot of good boxing to be made. And uh, I just want those guys to to understand that and, and get to the bag. That's just my opinion. You know what I mean? Hey, yo, I want to throw this in there, too. No salute to the guys from the Middle East. 
oh, cheeks sorry. and all that because they they helping put the they helping put this shit together right now. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Because yo, a fighter could say, yo, I don't want to fight such and such. But if 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 they get offered 50, 30, 40 million, they, they're gonna fight such and such, bro. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to them, man. Yeah, but that, but that's also like, like you know, people keep talking about the Benavides, and I know you've been in this camp, and I know Benavides wants to fight, and it's kind of crazy. Like Benavides talks like in fucking code, and it's weird. And I remember him saying something, and then um I forgot who the promoter was. I forgot the guy's name. I got the video, and people were bugging when Canelo said he wants 150 million, right? And people was like, "Yo, he's putting out a number to duck," and I was like, "No, he's not." I was like, and, and this is why. I said, when he fought Jaime Munguia, right? So let, let, let's take it like this. Guys, the NFL, the NBA, they get big contracts to play that season, right? Boxing is not like that. You basically get paid on the value of the fight that's going to be in front of you. So these people sit at a table, and they say, all right, Benavidez, you versus Cater Plant, we feel like you can generate this amount of money, and this is what we offer, right? It's on it's on that type of basis basis, right? The NFL, Patrick Mahomes gets paid what, what 40 million if he plays in a Super Bowl, right? Or if he plays against the top team in the in, in, in the NFL or the worst team in the NFL. It's not Sad. like that in boxing, right? So when Canelo came out and he said what he said, I was like, guys, he already knew what number he was gonna put out there. He already knew who who was out there. And 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 this is another thing. I'm like, this is his last fight, I think, with PBC, right? He doesn't sign a new deal, right? It allows him now to go to different platforms, whether it's the, the Saudis, whether it's Netflix, whether it's Amazon, to make this fight happen. And I think I, when I seen him write that, when I seen him say that, and then um, Benavidez responded and said, I hope he buys a pair of nuts with that. You know, he commented under one of the pictures and said, watch this happen in November. And also the promoter... I said that Canelo... No, Benavidez put it under Canelo's oh. uh, under post. He said, and I'll be looking, and I'm like, yo, Benavidez knows this fight's gonna happen. I just don't think it's gonna happen in September. You know what I'm saying? And I think Canelo knows that he's gonna get that number. He's gonna get it. He's gonna get, and I hope Benavidez is smart enough to get somewhere near 50 million for that fight because that's what he should get. But you know, I mean, that's what I'm saying. But that's what I'm saying. These streaming platforms, David are good for the culture because their money is almost limitless at this point. Especially, right. you, know, you know how much Amazon is worth? Gotta be billion. Billion? Why don't you try $1.83 trillion? Wow. That's So you're telling me, you're telling me that, that Canelo Alvarez doesn't know what these guys are willing to pay? What do you think the Saudi prince is worth? Trillions. That's crazy. You don't. Th that's what I'm. I'm looking at, it and I'm like, when he came out and he said what he said, I'm like, oh shit, Canelo. Canelo's actually. He's 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 gonna make this a, a bidding war. Like, who wants to pay this? And I think it's gonna happen. I know a lot of people believe he's not gonna happen. I think it's gonna happen. You know what I'm saying? And nah, I think it, it, it it's gonna happen. The money is going. The money is gonna be offered. It's just a matter of if Canelo gonna take it because it was the way he did it. It's not what he did. It's how he did it. Like he said. Benavidez don't have nothing to order but nothing to bring well, but 25, to the table, but 25 yeah. extra pounds. Yeah. That's bullshit, bro, because mm -hmm. you could have, first of all, we all know Canelo is the king of the rehydration clause. Absolutely. So he would never he would never allow a guy to come in at whatever weight he want to come in next 100%, day. 100%. Yeah, so come on. I, I, but I also think Canelo said that. And this is why I think Canelo said that. When he put out the 150, he followed up with all he brings to the table is extra 25 pounds. I think that wasn't even towards Benavidez. That was more towards the individuals that are going to pay or going to say, oh, you're bugging. No. Fighting Benavidez is dangerous. They, Benavidez is definitely walking around close to 200 pounds. He's about 6'3", six, 6'4". Six, he's a big man, and he's a bad motherfucker. That, that's not somebody that you just want to step in the ring and not get paid for. So I totally get it. I think Canelo... When he said what he said about Benavidez, it was more so, in my opinion, towards the promoters that are going to say, oh, no, I think, no, bro, I'm taking the risk. I'm fighting this man that is not just beating people. He's beating the hell out of them. You're going to pay me. And I think that's why he said the 25-pound thing. And I definitely think he respects him because if he didn't respect him, in my opinion, 
he wouldn't be making, he wouldn't be asking for as much money as he is. And, and I and I think and I love David Benavides, by the way. I think Benavides is great. And I think, and, and this is another thing, David. Oh, you're yeah, David too flat. Where where I think Benavides and I think Canelo is playing this smart, right? Bro, there is no way that we're gonna get a Manny Pacquiao Floyd Mayweather fight. And what I mean by that is a boring fight that nobody that people are gonna feel like they got robbed, right? Facts. This is going to be a war. Where we're probably gonna let's say if it's a close decision, how much do you think the rematch is worth? Do yeah. you understand I, how much, bro? There is no way that this fight is whack. This I see thing. it being a competitive fight, like you said. You know yeah. I'm saying a, a bomb burner and it being a rematch in some type of way because yo, two two Mexicans, mm -hmm. now I'm saying that the, the, the stakes is high. And then when you put their styles against each other, it's it's just it's just a, it's just meant to be a, a exciting fight, bro. So we need that, bro. This is gonna be a trilogy. I believe that Canelo in this fight, if they fight three fights, I believe that he clears almost a billion dollars. It, it could happen. Fight. It could definitely happen. Like, bro, th these two guys have a style, and that it's not, bro. Like, I. This is like the perfect match. Canelo's not going to run. Benavides is not going to run. Facts. This is not going to be Floyd versus Manny or or one of those. Four, you know what I'm saying? Where it's just like, all right, it was a decent boxing match. Nobody landed punches. There's going to be blood. There's going to be cuts. There's going to be big shots landed. This is going to be, in my opinion, it's going to be 100 times better than when Canelo fought uh, Triple G the first two times. I think it's just I, a better I fight. agree. I agree. And I, and I think Canelo's like, he knows that. And that's, it, it'll probably be Canelo's last three fights, to be honest with you. I think the, 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 the amount of uh, damage they're going to do to each other's bodies in that fight is going to take Canelo out of the game. I agree. And, and, I, and I think that's why Canelo's asking for so much. So everybody out there saying what they're saying, bro, Benavides is not your average fighter, bro. He's just not. Definitely not. You know what I mean? <laughs> well, I'll, I'll just keep it, you know, and I, and I love Benavides. You know, I got my, uh, you know, I got my team Canelo. You know what I mean? Right yeah, we know you biased. We know you're a biased Canelo fan. I was too. I was turned off by the, by the, by the way he, he responded to the Benavides shit. I was turned off because I, like I said, Benavides, that's my bro. You know what yeah. I mean? That's, that's I, my I love Benavides, yeah. Facts. That's my guy. You know what I'm saying? But when when Floyd retired, I was Team Canelo, bro. 100%, bro. He was yeah. my number one guy to watch. You know what I mean? But the way he went out, the way he went out is like he, he became more of a, which is not bad. You know what I'm saying? He became more of a businessman than a fighter. Kind of like how Floyd I mean, did at the end of his he career. Still has, he's still fighting the champion. He still, he still has the best resume in boxing by far. No, he does. He does. Yeah. But I'm just saying nowadays he just he just becoming more of more of a businessman, less of a fighter. You know what I'm saying? I I I I, I can't agree with you 100 percent because when he does do these fights, he's trying to knock you out. He's not running, he's not doing anything. I get it because better Vitas is your man, and that's a more of a personal thing, but I also look at it from you have to get what that fight is worth. And I and, and this is this is coming from both sides. I don't think Benavides should take the minimum. He just shouldn't. When I heard him say that, I was like, David, are you on fucking drugs? No. Nah, but he want the he want, you know, he's young. He's, I, I get it. I get it, but there's no not really so team. much focused on the money, Nobs. And that's why I, I get it. But that's you know why what? he should be. Kid, man, this kid is this kid Listen, is a throwback. He's like I'm with you. I'm with you, but that he, doesn't mean he shouldn't be paid. What did Joker say? If you do something great, you should be paid for. That's it. true. That's ben true. But should be some, compensated the way he should oh, be. Compensated. Sometimes, sometimes it's like he one of the guys that he he got he got a fight in spirit, bro. He like yo, I take the I take the 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 short end of the stick just no. to just to get this fight, bro. I want this fight because he looking at it as from a legacy standpoint. I, I hear you, but the the bottom line is this. Legacy don't pay the bills. And so, yes, he's making good money, but there's no way that he shouldn't be getting upwards of 50 to 60 million for this fight. That's I'm a serious. fact. There's no way. And I love David Benavides. 
I love the fact that he's a Latino, period. I love Canelo as a Latino, and I believe they should be paid. And and honestly, Canelo, uh, Benavita should be paid upwards. Listen, he's as big a part of Listen, there's no $150 million without David Benavides in this fight. That's a fact. That's a fact. Period. David should be getting a large number. And in the rematch, they probably should be going 50-50 at that point. Just being honest. Depending mm. on how the fight goes. Because there's going to be a rematch. Right. right. And, and to me, I think, and, and that's why I think Canelo does have that respect for him. A lot of people act like he doesn't. Canelo respects him, bro. Canelo Wait, was- why did Canelo never not to not to not to change the subject, Noah's, but you yeah. just made me aware of something. Now I'm saying when you like when you talking about Canelo, why didn't he rematch Bravo? He tried to, but Bravo wanted that 168 for his belt, and he wanted that 175. He was like, yo, I want to beat you at 175. So that's why he did that. That's that's why it didn't go down. He wanted it at 175, Bravo wanted it at 168. Now, that's what I'm saying. See, it's like, yo, he became more of a businessman than a fighter because as a fighter, don't get me wrong, Canelo, of course, you got to be a businessman, especially at that level. Now, I'm saying he's there for a reason. But, bro, where's your pride, bro? Your Mexican pride. He tried to make that happen. He just didn't want it. No, no, no. If you beat me, bro, I don't give a fuck if you say we fighting a heavyweight, bro. I need my lick back, bro. No, I, I hear you. And he tried to make the fight happen. He said at 175, he wanted to beat him out there because he didn't want them to say he beat him at 168. That was a disadvantage. That's what his excuse was. Now, whether you take, whether you accept that or not, it is what it is. I think he will eventually get to Bavol, to be honest with you. But I'm more concerned with, the, I want to see the better of this fight. I, I'm just being honest. I, I don't. And, and again, and, and, and this is the one thing I love about Benavidez, which scares me about Benavidez. He's fighting over at 175 now, right? He's gonna he's gonna win that fight. And then he wants the winner of uh Bavol versus uh Better V, right? Which is a big risk because these are guys that are walking around closer to 200 pounds than whatever. Great fights, right? But there's a big chance that if he does lose one of those fights, that Canelo fight is off the table. Or it's not as valuable as it once was. You know what I mean? And you know, it, it, it's just one of those things to me, like, and I love Benavides for how he thinks, but man, man, I'd rather have him fought somebody else at 168 and build up the fight because it is a big risk that he's taking right now. But... He believes in himself. Bro. No, no, but, but if he clears that, think about this. Let's say he goes and beats uh, Benavides, becomes undisputed at 175. And now you bring a one disputed at 175 to the 168-pound division to fight Canelo. It's going to be a way bigger fight. And I do I do agree with the Saudis that if that fight were to happen and he declares those belts, that Canelo versus um, Benavidez is that much bigger at that point. So, but it's, it's, it's a, you know, it's, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a high it's risk. A risk. Yeah, it's a risk. A risk. Fact. You know, and I love Benavidez, even though he dresses like Manolo from, uh, from uh, from Scarface, <laughs> but, you know, I gotta meet him. You gotta introduce me to David, man. I love David Benavides. I love his dad. Yeah, and, um, they good Rick people, Hill. man. No, they they look like it, man. They look like you know, and you know that's those are my two those are my two favorite fighters, and and, and, and it's, I, I got them as my number one and two pound for pound. I'm just being honest. That's what I got them as. So I would love to see it happen, but you know we're gonna find out soon. What else you got going on, Flat? What else you got going on? Yo, I want to know why you said Tank should should be fighting better competition, bro. I, I got a problem with that because... I believe if Tank Davis were to retire today, he would not be a Hall of Famer. Bullshit. Bullshit, bro. Who Bullshit, do you think bro. The biggest fight is Ryan Garcia? Yeah, I mean... Come on, Flat. Look. He is, he beat, he why beat. is it unified? Flat. Come on, flat. Let's not do this. Bro, bro. These guys, these guys, first of all, these guys act like they want to fight him. They're not jumping. They're not jumping to fight Tank, bro. You don't they're think not. Tank wants to fight from Tank? Who? You don't think Devin Haney wants to fight Tank? I don't think he wants to fight him right now. Nah, no, I mean, of course, course they want to. No, let me let me rephrase that. Of course they want to fight each other. They just not jumping to fight each other, bro. 
Like they not they not pressing the issue. They're not pressing that issue, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because Tank is the most dangerous fighter in the game right now, bro. Next to next to Benavidez. You know what I'm saying? Most dangerous young fighter in the game, bro. Blue tennis? So boots. They, uh, they not jumping to fight him, no. Boots tennis? Uh, don't, 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 don't forget about my man boots. Boots, boots, yeah, boots, boots. Is right. I'm I'm mad at I'm mad at um Bud. But don't want that smoke. Uh, you don't yeah, want that. I'm, I'm mad at Bud Crawford, bro. Cause he making me he making me feel like he a little scared, bro. And, and I know he not, but he just moving, he moving wacky, bro. Dude, like he's talking about fighting at 154 against Tim Zhu, everybody else, but won't fight. Exactly. Is a bigger bag than any of those fights. It's a bigger What's bag. A bigger bag? Him and him and Boots. Boots is a bigger bag than him and Tim Zhu. Nah, I wouldn't agree with that. I wouldn't agree with that, but what? Nah, 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 nah. Hell no. Hell you still got no. Got to think, no. Tim Zhu bringing the whole country behind him. I hear you, but people want to see boots. I think after Benavidez, I mean after Benavidez, I'm sorry. Canelo, of course, he wants to try to get closer to Canelo. Everybody wants that retirement back, right? But if you're not gonna fight Canelo, right? And you're gonna willing to go fight Tim Zhu, but won't fight the the, the bigger baggy division. It shows you're a little more hesitant, and you. F I don't want to say fear. Right? I don't think Bud is scared of anyone, no. but he does realize that there is a big opportunity that he loses to Boot Tennis. I mean, five eleven fights got a strong jab, and listen, and I think people tend to forget because of what he did to Errol Spence. He had problems against Sean Porter. I don't think Sean Porter would ever give Boots and his problems. Just being honest. Mm. Just keeping it real. Let, let's be real. But that's Styles. That's Styles don't know if Styles make fights. And I think Boots' Man. style is, is 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 a problem for 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 Bud. I mean, for years, for years, I I, I was an advocate of, yo, that boy not ready for Bud for years. But now, that that they gave him, they gave him the belt. It's like at some point. Bud gotta, Bud gotta, Bud gotta take the take on the, the challenger, bro. It's like it's like the same yeah. thing with Canelo and Benavidez. Benavidez was a number one contender for three years, bro. Know what I'm saying? So yeah. that's just that's the same thing, like with 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 Bud and and, and Boots. Know what I mean? Like at some point, bro, you gotta take on the challenger, get that young man a shot. Cause yo, that kid from Philly, bro, he not gonna just accept the belt. For what it is, without fighting for it, you know they got pride, bro. Now I'm yeah. saying, when well, you got pride, you like, yo, I don't want to be an email champion. Now yeah. I'm saying, like, I want to fight for my shit. Now mm -hmm. I mean, someone to fight, Bud, bro. So yeah, I Bud mean, the, step up. the one thing about Bud that I do have to say in regards to that fight is he's 35, turning 36. But I think Boots is like 24. Right? Yeah. He doesn't have much left in the game. So he wants that big bag and get the fuck out. So I understand him not fighting him at 147. Why not take him at 154? Say fuck it. Let's fight, let's fight at 154. Because he needs I to, he's trying that. to get closer to Canelo. He wants that Canelo fight. And I, I feel like he feels like it's slipping out of his hand because the Benavides fight is going to get closer. Once he locks on Benavides, he's never going to get Canelo. He's just going to be too old. But and, that's um, the same thing. That's the same thing. What 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 Bud what Bud is going through with Canelo is like the same thing he doing the boots. You know what I'm saying like it's the same but thing, the same bro. Weight class is a big difference. They're the same weight class. Yeah, but I'm just saying the principle. You looking for the big fight? Son looking for his big fight. Boots looking for his big fight. Bud looking for his big fight, even though he just had the Spencer. He's, no, he's looking for the Canelo bag. There's a big difference between the big. He's looking fight. for the Canelo. That's what I'm saying. But that's the same thing, and from 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 Boots level, yeah. Crawford is like fighting a Canelo. Yes. at his level yeah. right now, yes. they don't get no bigger than that. That's the biggest fight he can make. Right best now. guys at 147 or Virgil Ortiz as well. I mean, that's bro. not a big fight for him like that though, bro. That's not a big fight like a Bud Crawford, bro. You know what I'm saying like. In in, in 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 his opinion, he's looking at it like this is his version of a Super Bowl. Know what I'm saying he need this big fight because yo, for years, everybody, including myself, been saying, yo, this kid could fight, but he ain't proved nothing. Cause and he ain't been in there with nobody. Boots. He ain't, 
He ain't been in there with nobody. He be, he'll be Virgil Ortiz, bro. Virgil's he'll good. be he'll be all these guys at forty seven, bro. But well, 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 Virgil's at one fifty four now. Oh, he moved up. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, I, I'm, I'm gonna tell you this right now. This is the crazy thing, right? That's what I'm saying. Fifty four is where it's at right now. Yeah, that's crazy. Listen, it, it, that's why I found boots. Go to 54 if you want these. So you got Charlo, you got Virgil Ortiz, you got Bud, Danny Garcia's coming back, you got Tim Zoo, dog. Everybody's at 154 right now. So to me, it's gonna be hard for Bud to duck that big fight. And, and that's why, yo, know, Boots, go to 154. Mm. Screw it. What are you gonna do at 147 right now? Who are you gonna fight? But who, but who, who I so if you go to 154. Everybody's there. Mm. Everybody's there. Flat. Everybody is there at 154 right now. Like if you're undisputed at 154 pounds, you're that guy. I don't think I and I can't I oh I cannot say this guy's name that for Tim Zoo for some strange reason. I don't think Fendora. he holds on for door for door. I don't think he holds on to that belt much longer. At 154. I just don't believe it. I mean it depends on who you fight. If he fights rematches Tim Zoo, and Tim Zoo's gonna be on a rematch. Nah. Nah, mm. we, we can put something on that, but Tim Zoo's gonna be in the movie match. No way, bro. Tim Zoo's a dog. I love Tim Zoo. He's a dog. Fandora, Fandora is a hell of a fighter, too. Bro. He's a very good fighter. He's a very good fighter. I yeah, just think Tim, Tim Zoo is a, is a dog, but dog, I don't he's think he's a better fighter than Fandora, bro. I think he is. I think that cut over that they couldn't see. I think they should have stopped that fight in the fifth round, had a no contest, stopped it. Oh, they nah. stopped. We couldn't even <laughs> see flat. Come on, no. Oh, he got, this first is, of all, first of all, come on, come on, bro. He this is blood he, and guts, bro. I, I, I get that. that. But, but the definition of stopping a fight is basically when a fighter is hindered, right? If blood is going inside, he can't see. You're supposed to stop the fight. He couldn't see from the first round on. He wasn't even getting hit, walked out of the corner, and blood was gushing into his eye. It should have been stopped. It, it should have been. There's no nah. reason. There's no, listen, you got you got to go out there and protect the fighter, man. He couldn't see, man. Nah, man, that that made it that made it exciting, bro. For like, us, for us, the, yeah. For I'm us, saying, yo, no, that's the that's the that's the true testament of a fighter, bro. Like, you gotta be able, you gotta be able to fight through that shit, bro. Go out on your shit. Oh, that's you why, yo, they made me. fun of they making fun of Roly, but Roly went out on his shit, bro. I don't even think he found his shield. He didn't even know where he was. They asked him, "Hey, Roly, where you at?" <laughs> He's a happy Easter. Oh, He's a happy Easter. <laughs> <laughs> that shit was funny. Bro. That nah, shit was listen, funny. I got but, mad respect for Roly. Nah, I, I love. I, I got mad. I got mad respect for. Roley, that man. shit was hilarious when he said "Happy Easter." He said, oh. hey, talking about happy Easter. <laughs> <laughs> he looked like he was thinking about that shit too before he said bro, it. <laughs> so I, I didn't even know that. Um, that was Kayla Plant's wife, right? And apparently, she was asking. That's him a like, fact. She was asking him like these other questions. I only caught that part, right? But yeah. apparently she was asking him some <laughs> other questions that were a little bit unprofessional, I guess. Was that what some people were saying. And oh, um, no, I ain't hear that. Yeah, somebody was telling me yesterday on the show, a couple of days ago on the show, that she was asking him questions and it kind of was kind of like foul. Oh, and that nigga was lost, bro. He, bro, he was out since the first round. He was out. Like that's he, a fact, bro. Like I, I, I don't even, I, I don't know when he got knocked out, what round it was, but he was gone. <laughs> but, but yo, Roly put that Roly put that on himself, but because yeah. you know his his shit I mean, talking and all that, but I think he did he did all right, man. He did all right, bro. It was this. entertaining. I'm gonna say this: what Roly has accomplished for the the talent level of a fighter that he is is unbelievable. Mm -hmm. Unbelievable. That's a fact. You know what I mean? Listen, and I'm not trying to say Roly anybody that laces up those gloves and does what they do, I give them the most respect. Roley is not never been a top ten fighter at 135 pounds. That's a fact. His marketing, his mouth, his understanding of of the internet is what got him to being to becoming a millionaire, and that's the goal that's at the fact. end of the day is being rich. Was sure. he ever a great fighter? Absolutely not. Was he ever a good fighter? Probably not. But he got what he got to, and you got to give him that. Now, I don't think, and and I was talking to somebody the other day. I don't think he bounces back from this because I feel like once you get knocked out, like like he got knocked out against Gervonta and then you know almost got knocked out in the last fight. Now now the way he took a beating this one, I feel like it's you're more susceptible to getting knocked out for some strange reason. And he, 
No, he don't need to bounce back, man. I just, I just was telling my guy that, like, yo, he, he, after what he accomplished, he, he, he's gonna get one or two more big fights, big paydays. You know what I'm saying? Know, I don't know, bro. I'm telling you for sure, bro. He's gonna it's get not... at least one or two more paydays, bro. You know what I'm saying? But I, I just can't see him selling a big fight at this point, like, bro. Like he nah, wasn't just beat. He, he, wasn't beat. he wasn't just beat in that fight. He Pitbull made it look like he didn't even belong. Nah, nah, no, I gotta disagree. It wasn't, it wasn't what? like he ain't, he 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 it was entertaining, bro. It was an entertain because I, I felt people, like I yeah. felt like at any time one of them could land a big shot. Now Pitbull, he landed some shots on Pitbull. Pitbull gonna, just got a crazy chin, bro. I'm gonna be honest with you, bro. Once and I, and I said this before the fight. I said Roly stands a puncher's chance. If it goes 12 rounds, it's gonna be bad because Pitbull's just a better boxer. He's just a better fighter. And I was like, once I seen that he landed a punch, I forgot what round it was. He landed a punch on Pitbull, and Pitbull like just kind of like swiped it away. Like if it was like dust that went in his eye. Mm. Oh, he, he's dead. He knows it. And and Roly doesn't run. He's not a, he got on his bike. He was going back and back. I knew he wasn't gonna be able to sustain that for 12 rounds. I was like, he's dead. He's in trouble. <laughs> and, you know, I feel like, I, I get what you're saying, but that guy Pitbull, bro, it, he really made him look as if he was not supposed to ever be in the ring with Pitbull. And I, I don't know how he's going to bounce back from that. I, I think Roley has a career in, in media. I think he should do a podcast. And yeah. I just don't believe he's going to bounce back in boxing, to be honest with you. He but 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 he he did he did create a lane for himself, bro. So he could yeah. he could expand. He's yeah. rich. He's rich. Yeah, he could expand, bro. As long as he don't get a coke habit or some crazy shit, he's fine. He, he'll be yeah, fine. nah, bro. You don't got no habits. Check, check this out. Check this out. Too. This is another thing. Before before go, I'm gonna just one last thing. Mm. So yeah, so yesterday, I was like, yo, no bullshit. I want to see because you know I was thinking, where does Roly go and then where does Pitbull go, right? Mm. And I was like, you know what, fight is the fight to make for Pitbull right now that I think would 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 make... And people keep talking about Javante. I don't want to see the rematch. I don't. Not right now, right? Mm. But you know what fight I do want to see? Is Matias. Him. Yep, Matias. Yeah, that's a, that, 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 that's the fight right there. That's a that's a dream fight what? for a, a, a boxing a, 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 a boxing fanatic, bro. That's a what? dream fight, bro. That's that right there is a dream fight, bro. And you gotta remember it's Puerto Rico versus Mexico. Mexico, yeah. So that that just make it that much more what? of a, of a you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, that's fire. That I said that from as soon as he won the bell. I say yeah. we need that fight, bro. That that's that's I mean, first of all, Pitbull's not gonna run. And Matias is coming forward. Yeah, neither one is gonna run. It's going to be the bloodiest, like that's just if that fight doesn't get made this year, it is it is that that there's a disrespect to box. Yeah, like, that that'll be our modern day, that'll be our modern day got Gotti Ward, uh Corrales or, Castillo, or, or Hagler Hearns. Hagler Hearns. Well, no, nah, I wouldn't say Hagler Hearns. Why not? Because uh, I, I think I it. think it's more, I think it's more of a Hagler Hearns was like more of a Ah, yeah, I, I could say that, I guess. Yeah, because they, they went to war. Yeah, they went to war. Bro, I, I don't listen. Pitbull and Mat yo, bro, forget they don't even gotta they don't even gotta talk trash. Nah, they won't. <laughs> they won't. Imagine if it takes place like in, in Puerto Rico or or dog, do you understand how that building is gonna rock? Even if they do it in New York. Yeah, they're gonna do it, they're gonna do it in the States for sure, bro. But that that's a movie right there. That's one of them fights where you tell people that don't really watch boxing, you tell watch them to tune into this fight. Yeah, make them. We gonna make some new boxing fans today, you know bro. I mean? I'm telling you right now, that is the first fight that I would be making if I was Amazon. I'd be calling them. Listen, mm. versus Matias, can we lock that in? Because mm. this this is the one. Like I, I believe that's the fight of the year. How much you will offer them if you was Amazon? Yeah. I mean, they got the money. I'm Cause you know we know Amazon got the money, but you know on on average they not gonna look at them too as yeah people I mean, that they gotta pay like that. I think I think they'll probably get like I know Matias got turned down for like 
against Haney, you wanted two million. They said it was too much. I think you got to give them at least five, five, five and ten. I think it's. I get them I, ten each. Man. Yeah, yeah, that's a fair number. Ten, ten each is fair. It's ten more than each. They gonna number. go to war for that ten, bro. War. And I'll put a bonus. I'll I'll give them ten each and put a. A a a a a a a five a a, a ten an extra ten mil if you win by knockout. It's going to be a knockout. This, but first of all, Pipples never hit the canvas, so that that's insane. You know, it's my dream card. Let me tell you my dream card right now. Mm. Benavides Canelo, Matias mm. Pitbull will be the two fights right there. Mm. Mm. After, I don't I don't even care. I'll pay mm. two hundred dollars for that pay per view. Mm. I'll pay two hundred dollars for that pay per view. Do you understand? I would throw, I would throw. Now nah, I'm gonna tell you what would be my my dream pay-per-view right now, bro. Okay. I would do those two fights. Uh uh Canelo and Benavidez as the main event. Mm -hmm. I'll put I'll put Pitbull and Matias as not the co-main event, the fight before the co-main event. In the co-main event, I'll put Tia Fimo and Tink. Mm, that's that would crazy. be crazy, son. Crazy. What? That'd be crazy. And it, you got a whole lot at a at a football stadium or something with that whole sixty thousand fans, bro. Then you gave me goosebumps. Just think about yeah, it. Yeah, that, that's crazy, son. Think about yeah. that at like somewhere where they hold 60,000. Oh, six. When you go to Texas Stadium, they hold a hundred a hundred thousand. Easy. They hold a hundred thousand in it? Hundred thousand. Texas yeah. Stadium, yeah. Wow. Cool. That that that's where Benavides and Canelo needs to happen. It needs to happen. Right. Like that's just no way. But but, dude, but but I think wait I think ain't the tank fight. They said that they said the tank in Houston. In um, Houston. In Houston. Right. 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 Houston. Houston. All right. But, listen, I, bro. That that card gave me goosebumps. Mm. Like, literal goosebumps. Do you, but I, I can't even imagine, like, what Matias and Pitbull would actually be. Man. I, I, it, it, I don't think it's. I don't think people understand how incredible that fight is. That would be crazy, think. son. They gonna fight. They go. They gotta fight, bro. That's the first fight that should happen. I don't want to hear yeah. no other fights. Somebody was like Pitbull versus Ryan. Or nah, like, nah, no, 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 nah, 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 nah. We well, don't want to see Pitbull. That's that. That has happened. Yes, sir. Like, don't give me no other Pitbull fights. Pitbull versus Matias, Puerto Rico versus Mexico. That mm. will be the greatest Puerto Rico Mexico fight ever. That's a fact. Ever. That's a ever. fact. That is a fact. Look, if that fight doesn't happen this year, I'm gonna be so mad. Amazon, Netflix, you guys want get that fight. Give those boys Facts. 10 million each, bro. Facts. It, it'll be insane. It'll dog. I'm praying that happens, bro. I'm with you on that, bro. Yeah, I'm with you. But shit, yo, flat. We gotta do this more often, man. You, yeah, you, bro. You, I ain't gonna you, lie. This shit, this shit was <laughs> this this was this was one of them. I I I, I missed this shit. No, you just made me realize how much I missed this shit. Man. Let's do it, man. We're a good team, man. You out here bullshit, man. Nah, I got I'm, you. Man. I'm, I'm telling Manolo I'm pulling up on him. That's his new name. I'm calling him Manolo. Hi, Manolo. <laughs> I'm gonna tell him that. <laughs> I love yeah, listen, I love David better be to tell yo, where, where can I get some of his stuff? Because I gotta support him. Yeah, I'm, uh, gonna, I'm gonna send you the link. Up. I'm gonna send you the link on Instagram. Yeah, I'm going to definitely grab some stuff up, man. I definitely support him. Love his dad. But tell Thank him, I'll, I'll take the minimum, bro. They, Amazon got way too much money. They got way too much money, bro. Facts. You know what I mean? But, um, yeah, man, let's do this again, man. Whenever you're ready, bro, I'm here. I got you, brody. All right, my brother. Appreciate All right, you. All right, no doubt. It's your boy, Norris. This was the 10A Podcast with your boy, uh, my man, David Flat. All call-outs is mandatory. Trying to put, you know, we're going to build. We're going to continue to build. I know there's people like, yo, you're not known for this. Listen, I'm great at it. And we're going to continue to get better. You know what I mean? It's your boy, Norbs, and we are out.